Hello everyone. I get a lot of comments in all of my videos pitting Imperial versus Metric and debating which is the better system of measurement. I would like to put this argument to rest once and for all right now. The correct answer is to abandon both of them and move the entire world to the only truly universal unit of measurement, the standard banana unit. Nearly everyone on Earth is familiar with the dimensions of a banana, and it can be used to quantify every aspect of our existence, from distance, to mass, to time itself. I want to be perfectly clear, though. We're talking about the Cavendish banana here. You get right the hell out of here with your f***ing plantains. The beauty of this system is that all units are referred to simply as SBU. This keeps everything nice and simple, so we don't have to remember different types of units. Inches, pounds, meters, kilograms would all be replaced by the SBU, although for larger and smaller measurements we would retain prefixes such as kilo, mega, and giga, and milli, micro, and nano. For instance, one SBU of length can be broken up into 10 decinanners, which is conveniently visualized by the length of a banana-flavored runt. Oh, that's so gross! <coughs> Why do you exist?! <coughs> Excuse me. In the context of manufacturing and machining, we would exclusively refer to measurements in nanonanners for the sake of accuracy. One SBU of length is equivalent to 7 inches, or 177.8 millimeters. Like any unit, it's good to put this size into perspective with the things we see around us. The average human hair is about 0.03 SBU, plus or minus a bit for natural variation. Have you ever run a 10K race? Nope. You've run a 56.2 kilonanner race. How about something a little bit bigger? The Earth is 71.7 megananners in diameter at the equator, with a circumference of 225.4 megananners. On average, it's 84 gigananners away from the Sun, or one astrobananic unit. That's a lot of bananas. Of course, the SBU was originally based on the average length of the fruit, but that's not exactly uniform, is it? It's now scientifically defined according to the wavelength of a very specific frequency of yellow light in a vacuum. Of course, in the vast expanses of the cosmos, that light will tend to become brown shifted over time. However, the amount of this browning can be used to determine the age and distance of celestial objects. Staying in the realm of physics, all matter has mass, and the banana is no exception. Physicists at CERN have confirmed the existence of the Higgs boson, the particle thought to bestow that mass upon all matter. However, in keeping with the standardization of the SBU, that will have to be renamed the banana boson. My apologies to Dr. Higgs. Again, it's always good to make these measurements relatable, and with that in mind, the average Welsh corgi has a mass of roughly 100 bananas. One SBU of area is hard to pin down mathematically, but it's easy to visualize as a slice bisecting a banana lengthwise along the curve. Measuring volume is relatively straightforward by comparison. One SBU is equivalent to 135 cc, or 8.24 cubic inches. Because of the standardization of the unit, it would be entirely unnecessary to add square or cubic to any area or volume measurements. However, some car enthusiasts may prefer to say their sports car has a 37 cubic banana engine just for giggles. Speaking of engines, replacing quite frankly ridiculous measurements like horsepower and kilowatts is long overdue, and the SBU is equally up to the task here. One SBU of power refers to the amount of energy required to peel a banana and then slice it into little medallions that you can put in your cereal in the morning. Let's be honest here, saying the engine in your 1989 Ford Ranger has over 9,000 SBU of power sounds a lot more impressive than 82 horsepower. The torque this engine produces brings up an interesting quandary. 
Since torque is an amount of force applied at a distance from a fulcrum, and both the force and distance need to be defined, a la newton meters or pound feet, you can see how this can be confusing when every unit is an SBU. Care must be taken to avoid mistakes when making compound units such as these. After all, you wouldn't want to make a nanner nanner boo boo. Temperature has always been a point of contention between the Celsius and Fahrenheit crowds. Well, no more. The SBU is a simple scale extending from zero in the positive and negative directions, where zero is the ideal growing temperature for bananas, positive 100 is the baking temperature of banana bread at sea level, and negative 100 is the point at which a banana becomes hard enough to throw without splattering at anyone who says this is a stupid scale. Pressure is one of the most important measurements in our lives. After all, we all feel it, especially when you're trying to write a script about bananas in time for April Fool's Day that's both humorous and scientifically accurate. Oh, what's that? Oh, we're talking about atmospheric pressure. Sorry. That's defined as the weight of a column of bananas extending up to the edge of space, which BT dubs is arbitrarily set at a nice round 500 kilonanners. Average sea level pressure on Earth is about 67.5 SBU of mercury as measured on a bananometer. As the old saying goes, time flies like an arrow and fruit flies like a banana. In our case, both time and fruit fly like a banana. Sure, we can't change the length of our days or when our seasons happen, but we will change the length of our calendars to 18 months to reflect the amount of time it takes for a banana tree to bear fruit. When it comes to radiation, the banana equivalent dose has long been an informal measurement of radiation exposure, but I think it's high time to formalize it in the SBU family. Bananas do contain small amounts of naturally radioactive isotopes, notably potassium-40. The banana equivalent dose, or BED, is the amount of ionizing radiation a person is exposed to by eating one banana, which is 0.1 microsievert. There's no need for conversion here since the BED already exists. We only need to rename it to the SBU for consistency. It should be obvious at this point that the standard banana unit is incredibly versatile. I've only touched on the most commonly used measurements in our day-to-day -day lives here, but the SBU can and should replace every disparate unit of measurement currently in use. Electrical current, resistance, luminosity, the purity of precious metals. The SBU is the only unit truly capable of defining everything and finally uniting the world in harmony and peace. All the research, calculations, and data compilation in this video have been brought to you by the MEBSOI Institute, bringing you the most educational bovine scatology on YouTube. Thanks for watching everyone, and happy April Fool's Day.